What's going on guys? Roy Robles here from ZigWheels.ph and today we are at the Clark International Speedway for the Toyota Gazoo Racing Festival 2022. We're going to experience a whole day of sights and sounds and racing and nothing can stop us. Not even the rain, the weather, no problems. Toyota and Gazoo Racing is about to unleash something special for us today. I wonder what it is. I'm sure it's going to be great. Right, so they just unveiled the all new Toyota GR86, making about 235 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque from a 2.4 liter four cylinder boxer engine. It's naturally aspirated, by the way. It makes more power, more torque than the previous model, but the same fun factor. They haven't released any release dates yet or pricing, but Toyota Philippines says it will come very, very soon. As you can see, everyone's going crazy over it. I, I better go to do the same here. Alright, so our first demonstration for today uh, during the GR festival is the slalom course. You've seen this before during the uh, Gazoo Racing Academy where we go through different obstacles and then do a U-turn in the end, then go back and stop in the stop box. We're going to do the same in the uh, Toyota Vios One Make Race Cup car. It's a CVT. We'll be doing this around the course and then we'll be experiencing more later on. So that was a really fun hot lap that we did in the Toyota Vios One Make Cup car. And it was amazing, but check this out. Since we are in the Gazoo Racing Festival anyway, let's take a look at all the GR cars. First of all, we've got the GR Supra right here. It's beautiful in this white color. Under the hood, you'd find a six in line twin scroll turbo engine that makes 335 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. And that's crazy. The last time we saw a Supra was way back in the early 2000s and late 90s. And if you remember the Supra, that was actually the car that Paul Walker drived in the first Fast and the Furious movie. So it's got some sort of heritage if you did not know. This is the A90 Toyota GR Supra and it is a whopper. Can't wait to test drive this one. I haven't yet, but please Toyota, let me get my grubby hands into this. This is the most exciting part of today's events, the drag race. Now I've tried a hot lap before. I've tried a slalom, even joined the Toyota Vios Media Autocross Challenge, but I haven't driven the Toyota Vios as a drag car. So we're gonna drive the Toyota Cup car right here, drag style in this quarter mile at the Clark International Speedway. Everything is the same. We're using the CVT variant, so there is no advantage right here, guys. It's really up to the skill. There we go. So we're gonna try this out. Let's go. Hello everyone, I'm Elvin Luciano. I'm the Assistant Vice President for Marketing Services of Toyota Motor Philippines. For this month, we are holding our Toyota Gazoo Racing Festival. This is our way of, of promoting uh, the brand and promoting motorsports in a very experiential way. So right now, we have our range of GR vehicles on display. So we want the guests to check out all these vehicles. But uh, more importantly, we have brought out the GR Supra, the GR Yaris, and our Vios Cup race cars so that they themselves can uh, try those vehicles on the track. The great thing about Toyota Gazoo Racing is uh, in our Toyota Gazoo Racing line, we have a full range of, of vehicles and cars. So, you have, we, so we have the pure performance cars, which are the GR Supra and the GR Yaris, and soon enough, the GR86. And we also have the GRS models, uh, which bring the excitement and thrill and style of motorsports to vehicles that uh, people are already familiar with, like the Corolla, 
and even the BIOS. So now when we talk about Toyota Gazoo Racing, we're not just uh, talking about uh, racing per se. We want our customers to feel that thrill and excitement in their everyday lives. And just like how the tagline of Toyota Gazoo Racing goes, it says, uh, Racer Ambition. So we want uh, the people, uh, the customers to be inspired to race towards their goals so that they can reach uh, their ambitions and aspirations. Now, taking a break from all the racing and all the events, I've decided to do a quick walk around of Toyota's GR vehicles and GR lineup. First of all, we got the GR Yaris right here. We haven't tested it yet. And please, Toyota, give me the opportunity to test this one right now. But first, let's do a quick walk around so I can show you exactly what this is. Starting with the front end right here, you'd notice this aggressive looking exterior. Now, if you're thinking that the GR Yaris has anything to do with the vanilla Toyota Yaris, yeah, you're dead wrong. This is made from a totally different platform and the only thing that this shares with the Yaris that's available in the country is the name. First of all, you've got this LED headlamps, you've got your fog lamps, this aggressive looking grill right there, and the GR badge. Even after a few years, it still looks fresh, still looks aggressive. Moving over to the side profile right here, as you can see, it's only a two-door hatchback. A two-door hatchback, that means, well, you can basically sit four people inside. It's a two plus two seating configuration, but I would not recommend it. You can definitely fold those seats down 60-40. If you want to use it as a family car, that's up to you. But hey, look at this. You've got 18-inch BBS forged alloy wheels right there, which means it's not just lightweight, it's strong as well. You got those GR brake calipers, those huge disc brakes. You got GR badges right there. You got a side mirror right here that's blacked out. In fact, one of the quirks I see right here is that you got this carbon fiber design around the door handle right there because as you can see, if you notice, look at your car or look at your neighbor's car maybe right now. There's some scratches right there on the door handles right here. In order to avoid that, they put that trim right there and it's easy. No damages whatsoever from your dirty little fingernails. So you got this sloping roof design right here as well and this nice little spoiler at the back. I like the overall look. It's clean. It's nice. It looks cute, but don't get this thing wrong. This is a beast, especially on the track. Moving over to the back here, definitely shows this cute hatchback aesthetic and this blacked out trim there. And you can see G says there GR Yaris. And you can see another badge there. It says GR4 because this car is a four-wheel drive vehicle. That's right, a small two-door hatchback that has four-wheel drive. How hot of a hot hatch can you get than the Toyota GR Yaris? I doubt anyone can definitely top that. You got a nice rear diffuser there. You got dual port exhaust and a rear fog lamp. Let's open up the back, shall we? As you can see here, you got a tonneau cover. It's basically practical. Yeah, sure, it could be practical if you don't plan to have any kids. <laughs> anyway, you got your battery. Hey, check this out. The battery is located here at the back. Some people actually, when they modify their cars, they relocate the battery at the back so that you can have more space up front. We'll look at the engine later on. Again, like I said, the seats fold 60-40 if you need to put any more things inside. Let's talk about power, shall we? So under the hood, you've got a 1.6 liter, three cylinder turbocharged engine that makes 260 horsepower and 360 newton meters of torque. And it sends the power to all four wheels. I mean, look at this. As you can see, the battery is not located here because as we saw earlier, it is in the back. The GR Yaris is the only model in Toyota's lineup as of right now to have this engine. So this engine was definitely specifically made for this car alone. And look at this. The hood is made of lightweight aluminum. So it's definitely really light. One more thing, let's look at the interior before we go. All right, so we're behind the wheel, finally, of the Toyota GR Yaris. Like I said, under the hood, you've got a 1.6 liter three cylinder turbocharged engine that makes 260 horsepower and 360 newton meters of torque with power going to all four wheels via this six speed automatic transmission. On top of the shifter right here, you've got a button that chooses the different drive modes. First of all, right now we're at normal, but if you hit that dial to the left, you can go to sport mode. Next, a little bit more aggressive, 
more aggressive than it is. And then hit it to the right. You got track mode. Oh, track mode. It just activates all the power right there. It improves acceleration characteristics. It's just so different. Okay, so what does all this power and all this torque feel going to the four wheels on the small hatchback you know me guys i keep telling you i love small cars and this is just the top of all of it this is just a quick look all right everything in the interior is great you got a leather wrapped steering wheel a 6.9 inch touchscreen infotainment system with apple carplay and android auto and this thing's got toyota safety sense more details on the drive next time okay so watch out for that so that's our quicker than quick look at the Toyota GR Yaris. Leave us a comment in the comment section down below if you want us to review one so we can show Toyota that you want to watch this on zigwheels.bh. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification icon so you won't miss any of our videos. This is Roy Robles from zigwheels.bh and I'll see you guys next time.